Yo, what's going on guys? Sean here for the full-time doubles match preview of Manchester United versus Sheffield United. The third round in the FA Cup as the game finishes 1-0 at Old Trafford thanks to a Wayne Rooney penalty kick at the dying minutes of the match after Memphis was brought down in the box. It was a little bit controversial in the sense that he came down theatrically, but I believe there was contact which will shun all doubters when nevertheless it was a penalty kick. The whistle was blown, it was a bit theatrical, but nevertheless there is a penalty and a goal. Wayne Rooney buries it, a vital goal for Manchester United and a vital goal for Louis van Gaal who would have just really, really had himself a hell of a harder time if it had there been a replay. But that this win just doesn't feel like a win. It was such a poor performance for Manchester United. Yes, we turned it up in the second half, especially after Memphis and Lingard came on to provide some pace and width down that 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 of uh, the flanks. But nevertheless, that first half was atrocious. It. Everybody can agree that the first half was ridiculous. There was a lack of focus, no concentration whatsoever from the players. So rigid and just no dynamism. There's no fluidity. Sheffield United came, all 11 players in the box. I don't need numbers here. I don't need anything. All players, 11 players were in their half for the majority of the match. And while this is going on, there's, there's no movement. Not one player is moving. No, there's no movement at all. It's a, you have Memphis, uh, you have uh, Martial on the left, you have Borthwick Jackson on the left. Wayne Rooney's so isolated from everybody here. If the ball's on his left-hand side, Wayne Rooney's so isolated. He gets frustrated. The ball's constantly being played sideways, 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 backwards. backwards. It comes out to Fellaini or whatever, wherever the freaking he, he was, who was another, another atrocious player. Wayne Rooney's so frustrated because he's isolated. Yes, he's, a, he's really having it one hell of a poor season, but... It doesn't account for the fact that he's so isolated, he's so frustrated, he has to come down and get the ball himself. By the time he comes down and gets the ball himself, there's already all 11 players lined up. Just like 2-3 players per, per, um, per Manchester United player. He has to turn around and he, he, has to win, he has to distribute it back out again. Of course he has to because there's no space in there. So then you have to do another sideways, sideways, backwards. There's, you don't need diagrams, you don't need numbers to know that the, the way we're playing, the way Manchester United are playing is poor. It's it's just not working. Louis Van Gaal needs to work that out, assess the situation, because when Memphis came on in that second half, when he comes on and he tries to get past a few players, and he has a little bit of space and he takes a shot, it's very close, just a little bit wide off that left-hand po uh, post, and the crowd goes wild. I'm, the crowd goes wild as if it was a curler from 30 yards and it hits the pings, the crossbar. The crowd goes wild. It was a shot. It went off the side and the crowd goes wild. That just shows you what's going on at Manchester United. There's no excitement, no fluidity, no creativity. We're all constantly saying there. You saw in the 83rd minute, 85th minute, half the people were out of the stands. Obviously, that's a fan issue, but nevertheless, that just shows you what the situation here is at Manchester United. If there are all 11 players in the opposition and they're parking the hell out of the bus, we need to have some movement, some sort of movement, whether it's up, down, sideways, we're so isolated, or leave it or nine, so isolated. There's so much space between the outfield players. It just doesn't work, Louis Van Gaal. And we need to fix this now, or Louis Van Gaal really needs to really be reviewed by the board. Because whether or not you're Louis Van Gaal in or Louis Van Gaal out, you look at this performance here, and it just shows you how frustrating it is when no players are running. What do you guys think about the match? Make sure you guys get your comments in the comment section below. I will do a more extensive review on my channel at the Global Reds TV, so you guys can check me out there. Thank you guys very much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time.